Today we are at Rustica Hardware. And we are so excited. It's something we've been wanting to do for a long time, is add some barn doors to our house, and we're finally doing it. Sweet ride, Jake. <laughs> Thanks. We're here with Christy today. She is fabulous, and she is going to be helping us figure out what barn doors we want to do. What are those? Octopus poles. It'd be so cute in our house. Let's see them. We thought we would go over the fun items that we got from Rustica Hardware in case any of you were wanting to get something similar. We ended up going with the five panel door. It comes, if you want to get inserts in it, it usually does the frosted acrylic. We ended up doing glass inserts. It made the doors a lot heavier, but we like the clarity of the glass and the we can Windex it real nicely, so. Yeah, we saw the frosted acrylic in person, and it was super cute, but we ended up just going with glass for our room. And for the door handles, we did the modern flush pull because since it's on a bypass system, we wanted the doors to be able to go behind each other. I think these doors would actually look darling as well with the pull handles. Mm -hmm. Those are super cute. I guess I could show some of those options because those were really fun so if we ever do another door we'll probably do a pull since it'll only be a single door but here's some of the fun options for the hardware we did the bypass system there's also other track options that are fun and then for the hardware, we went with the industrial stag, and it is in the raw still that we did. We just liked the clean, sleek look, but there was also a lot of really fun options. Oh, I chose the wrong thing. Oh, but this is good to know. You can get a lock, so yeah, in case you want to be able to lock it, like it's a, it's a bedroom door or something like that, and there are guide tracks that you can put underneath the doors so that they stay put. But that's what we got. Our doors just got here and we're just really excited to see how we're going to put them up and how it's going to work in here. This is going to be really fun. And now for the unveiling. Dun dun dun! Woo! How cool. 
Here's just a sneak peek of what these doors are going to look like. Jake's been working all night. It's coming along. Looking good. Party down here. <laughs> I am just finishing up tightening these rails on. Um, the hardest part probably with this was finding out where to mount these and how to put them up here. Once I found, you know, where the height was that I needed it, pretty straightforward, real nice and easy, just, just getting them mounted and screwed in. So that's nice, it's really sturdy. I guess I could hang from it, but I should try it. <laughs> so what I'm trying to do now is just outline this little area that I'm gonna have to drill and cut away some, some pieces, because basically this right here is the handle. It's a little inlay, and so I need to drill into this and carve out a little section that will fit here. So it'll just go down like that and be nice and mounted, and then it'll put your hand in there and open the door. Almost done here. What are you doing? Just tightening up these last little bits. What are these? That's it. These are the hangers that go up on the racks. exciting. I am super happy with the overall product and I think Jake is too. Yeah. We ended up doing a double bypass system and so these doors can actually be on either system but we'll keep them like this but it's nice because that they can be on either side. Ooh. Yeah. So it's kind of fun. We just didn't want the space to be limited and we wanted it to still feel like an open floor plan. So we went ahead and did the glass because we wanted to be able to see through. And I think it's gonna be super awesome. so happy now our office is finished it's complete so yep. i guess we better get to work we gotta get to work so see ya